Martial arts video, you're gonna learn how to use nunchucks for beginners. Grab a pair of nunchucks, they can be metal or wood, doesn't matter. It can be a string or it can be a chain in the middle. Hold your hand in the middle of one of the chucks just about halfway through. The string is gonna come out of the thumb side of your hand. Start with your palm facing up and you're gonna twist it going forward. You're gonna warm up with me very quickly. Turn your hand down and twist forward. When you turn down, make sure it's not in so much that you're gonna smash yourself in the face. Push it out a little bit. Warming up like this is gonna teach your hand and your wrist, your body, your brain's gonna make that connection. You're gonna learn how to use nunchucks very quickly, whether you wanna swing like Bruce Lee or you wanna learn it like the Ninja Turtles, or maybe for you, it's all about practical street self-defense. When you hold here and you're striking and you're creating distance, you have a lot of power in the chucks, but you're gonna warm up first before you get into those basic moves. Palm down, good morning. Palm up, palm down, and then put those together. You have your figure eight, sideways figure eight, carving like this, also known as the endless spin or infinity sign spin, just over and back, one side of the body to the other side. Put it in the other hand, start with that warm up, outer orbital, turn your hand over, make sure again, it's not so close, you're smashing yourself. Spinning this way, palm up, palm down, put those together one side of the body and the other, gradually increasing your speed, power. The slowest, smooth, smoothest, fast means take your time, allow your body to grow into these techniques. Now, go back to the first hand and you're gonna go right away. This is the second lesson in this series of nunchucks. I wanna show you how to transfer from one side of the body to the other, or how to pass from this hand to this hand. You're gonna do that first way here, the easiest way. From here, you're gonna come across your body, Yes, uh, no, wood or metal. You can get sponge, you can get rubber, you can get the foam nunchucks and they work, but they're too light. And um, hitting yourself is a great learning tool. When you whack yourself a little bit, you're gonna learn faster. If you take all the risk out of learning something, you make it so easy that when you smack yourself, you don't get any feedback from the stick you're not gonna learn that fast. So my uh, personal choice, unless you're a wee little kid, if you're four or five, go for some foam chucks. If you're older than that, get a pair of wood, make your own. Yeah, no pain, no gain, I mean, that's legit, right? So yes, yeah, a little bit of conditioning, but not that much. It's not about the conditioning, it's about smacking yourself in the head, hitting your elbow, hitting the side of your face, Going like this a couple times, like, ow. And then having to figure out, how did I do that? So I don't do it again. When it's foam, you'll whack yourself all day and you won't even notice. Every one of these, even though I'm not wincing because I've done it so much, they all hurt, right? But nothing's broken. Learn the difference between an injury and pain. Pain is a normal part of life. It's a normal process. Injury means something's torn or broken. You need to see a doctor or a doctor needs to see you. That's, you know, you don't want injuries if you can avoid them. That's why we always do a proper warm up. But after that, go for a little pain. Pain is feedback. Pain is weakness leaving the body. That's a funny cliche, but it's very true. Earn your lumps. It's like learning how to ride a bike. If you uh, never fall down, you're never gonna ride a bike. If you never crash and bust your knee up, and, uh, whack your elbow and hit your head a little bit on the grass, on the grass hopefully, right? You're never gonna learn to ride a bike. You took all the risk out. There's no reward. All right, that was my answer. My long-winded answer to should you use foam or sponge nunchucks? And the answer is if you're four or five years old, after that, go for one of this. Yeah, it's uh, spatial awareness. Martial arts weapons, especially the nunchucks, teaches me uh, timing distance and where my body is in space and time. You're gonna learn that. And then when you go an open hand and you're fighting, and you're learning how to move quickly and bob and weave, get out of the way, not get hit, block and strike back, it's all going to come uh, be ex accelerated. You're gonna get there faster when you practice with the chucks. Yes, and focus. If you don't have enough focus, you're gonna smack yourself over and over. It forces focus. It's like uh, wall climbing. When I worked with a lot of autistic children, you put them on the wall, they're not falling off. 
It's instinctive. Kids with ADD, ADHD, all hyper bouncing around, stick them on a wall, have them climb across to the side or a rope or a net. They're not gonna let go. Never once in 30 years, anybody let go and fall to the ground because they lost focus. Come across your body in the front. Pull it to the other side. Wherever you point this, that's where that's gonna go. This goes straight down, that's hanging under this arm. This arm is perpendicular to the ground. That's what we're working on in lesson two. This hand-to-hand -hand transfer. Once you get this, you're immediately gonna feel much like uh, you know what you're doing with the nunchucks. This is gonna give you more of a sense of mastery of a basic move than almost anything else with a nunchuck. The figure eight, and then the hand transfer, the easiest hand transfer. This is also a hand transfer. This is also, gotta get it around there, my tight shoulders this morning. That's a hand transfer. You're gonna learn all those. You're gonna learn this hand transfer. You're gonna learn a ton. You're gonna go up in the air. You're gonna grab it with the other hand. I'll show you all that in this series. But first, I wanna see you do this figure eight. And that starts here. And you do this outer orbital, just meaning spinning around your head. Do that a few times, turn your hand in. And this is gonna teach you to get that arm away from the body. If you're too close, there's the feedback. That's why I want you to use wood. So you feel that and you only do it once, right? Palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down, put them together. So you do this for 30 seconds, spinning, 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 and then you go into the figure eight. You just put it together. Your brain knows how to do this, by the way. 30 seconds here. And then put it into the other hand, palm up, palm down, up and down. Give yourself time to learn it, and then get your ego out of the way. You're not supposed to be good at it at first if you've never done it. 30 seconds here, and then the second, and this workout is under the arm. One side to the other side, one to the other, one. Yeah, try ping pong balls, like that famous video of Bruce Lee, which is fake, by the way. There's also one where he's lighting matches. That's also, it was all uh, computer generated for a TV commercial in Germany. Just in case you come across it and you're like, whoa, I'll never be able to do that. Don't ever say that, by the way. Anything Bruce Lee could do, you can do. Anything I can do, you can do. You just have to learn it and practice it. One more time from here, I'm simply same hand, left hand. I bring the left hand back and I have to turn my wrist down a little bit. That's gonna drop it under this arm, my other hand, reaches into the front of the body. You're gonna to wanna to do this. That happen, Almost everybody does that at first. Go to the front, take it, let go, whip it through. That is a deflecting strike. You're gonna smack somebody, they're trying to grab you, punch you, knock that straight out the hand, they got a knife, just straight in. Come to this side. All that is, again, is just turning down, reaching in front of the body, whip it to the other side, back and forth. That's your practice today. Figure eights in a forward spin and then go to this reverse. When we come back, we're gonna do reverse spins and we're gonna do over hand and we're gonna go uh, around the neck and we're gonna go over, under. We're gonna do the catch, pop them, the Bruce Lee style. We're gonna do the Bruce Lee triangle. We're gonna do all that in the next session which is probably gonna be later today. So I'll see you then. I gotta go teach a class. Yeah, I know, I thought it was real too, for years. I was heartbroken a little bit until I realized, well, if I could learn how to do that for real, and I bet you could learn how to do that for real, that would be much more impressive. And they'd say, hey, that guy did it just like Bruce Lee. Only Bruce Lee's was fake. They did it after he had already passed. And that, or he probably could have done it, right? But you're gonna be the first one to do it, unless I am. So you better get your chucks and start training.